Have you heard mm. of Thacker Pass in Nevada? Probably not, but you should. There's something so valuable here that the US government invested around $2.26 billion to get it. No, it's not oil. That's a bit old fashioned, huh? It's lithium the lifeblood of electric vehicles, smartphones, and renewable energy storage. White gold, so to speak. And successfully mining it out from Thacker Pass could maybe reshuffle the global balance of power. But first of all, why here? Why Thacker Pass? Well, it sits on the edge of something called the McDermott Caldera. Millions of years ago, a supervolcano blew. The ground collapsed into a giant crater. Over time, water collected inside it, forming a shallow lake. Volcanic ash and rock from the surrounding cliffs slowly eroded into the lake bed, carrying with them all kinds of minerals, including lithium. As the lake dried up, those minerals stayed hmm. behind, building up thick layers of lithium-rich clay. And for decades, it just sat there, untouched. But now, with interest in electric vehicles being at an all-time high, this area in Nevada has suddenly become one of the most important pieces on the energy chessboard. Lithium ions are tiny, fast, really good at carrying electric charge inside a battery. Think of it like a game of ping pong happening in there. When you charge your phone or laptop, lithium ions zip from one side of the battery to the other. When you use your device, they bounce back the other way, creating the power that keeps your screen glowing. But the best part is that this process can go on for a very long time, sometimes 15 years or even longer. That's why lithium is perfect for things we charge over and over, like smartphones, laptops, electric cars, and even huge power grids. Other metals? They're often heavier, slower, or wear out faster. Lithium's lightweight, fast-moving nature and incredible efficiency make it the go-to choice for our modern, always-on world. Right now, the world can't get enough lithium. Thanks to the electric vehicle boom and the global push for clean energy, demand is skyrocketing. In just the last year, global lithium use jumped by nearly 25%, and the curve is only going up. By 2030, demand could quadruple, and it's only going up from there. Electric vehicles are driving most of this. Around 85% of all lithium produced ends up in batteries, mostly for EVs. And with gas cars on the way out, every automaker is scrambling to lock in their lithium supply. But it's not just cars. We also need lithium for smartphones, laptops, smartwatches, tablets, power tools, drones, and backup power storage for homes and cities. No more stretching long cables over your yard as you mow your lawn. And let's not forget battery farms being built next to solar and wind farms. All of them rely on lithium to store excess energy when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing. So the problem is, we're going to need a lot more lithium than we're currently producing. But that's not the only issue. Even if a country has lithium in the ground, that doesn't mean it controls the battery supply chain. Mining is just the first step. Then, lithium has to be processed into battery-grade material. And right now, China dominates that stage, refining around 70% of the world's supply. When the US, Chile, or Australia digs it up, it often ends up in Chinese facilities before reaching a battery factory. That's a strategic weak spot. If global trade gets disrupted because of geopolitics, shipping, or any other reason, the whole clean energy transition slows down. It's kind of like growing our own coffee beans, but needing someone else to roast and brew them you're still dependent, just at a different point in the process. That's why the US isn't just after more lithium. It wants the entire process, from mining to battery production, to happen right here at home. And Thacker Pass could be a big piece of that puzzle. With a $2.6 billion loan from the federal government, this isn't just a mining site. It's a test run for bringing important energy operations back to the US. If it goes well, America won't just be catching up, it might be in the game at full speed. So, what makes Thacker Pass different from other lithium sources? One word, clay. Most lithium comes from hard rock mines in Australia or salty brine fields in South America. Those methods are well established, but here, lithium is locked hmm. in claystone, a mix of ancient volcanic ash compressed over millions of years. That kind of deposit is rare and much harder to process. 
Getting lithium out of clay usually means cooking it at super high temperatures or soaking it in acid baths, which is not exactly cheap or eco-friendly. But if Lithium Americas pulled it off, it could unlock a whole new type of lithium mining, not just here, but across the western US. Early estimates say Thacker Pass could hold up enough lithium to power millions of EVs for decades, possibly the largest deposit in North America. That's why this project matters. It's not just about getting lithium. It's about proving that clay-based extraction can work. If it does, it opens up a new domestic supply. If it doesn't work, the US stays stuck in the same loop. Dig up some lithium, but still send it overseas to get refined and stay dependent. On the other hand, if Thacker Pass reaches full production, it won't just change where America gets lithium, it might reshape the entire region. The mine is expected to run for 40 years and could become one of Nevada's largest industrial projects. That means jobs, lots of them. Predictions say close to 2,000 people could be employed, not to mention the ripple effect. Housing, schools, roads, hospitals, and support services. Economists call this the multiplier effect. One mine means more local jobs, waiters, teachers, grocery clerks. The whole town gets a boost. In a rural area like Humboldt County, that's a big deal. And it doesn't stop there. Having a domestic supply means prices stay more stable, sourcing is more secure, and we can increase EV and battery production all over the country. What used to be just a hole in the ground is turning into a national treasure for energy, jobs, and independence. Still think this is just me overhyping it? Let's talk money. The US Department of Energy just ruled out one of its biggest clean energy loans ever, $2.26 billion to get Thacker Pass going. General Motors is investing $650 million to get early access to the lithium they need for their EVs, making this their biggest raw materials investment ever. Tesla has already set up a lithium refinery in Texas so they can cut out the middleman. Even ExxonMobil is getting in on the action, planning to start lithium production by 2027 and aiming to be a major US supplier by 2030. When oil giants, car manufacturers, and the government are all putting their money on the same bet, that's definitely more than just a trend. That's a real change. So what happens if this lithium boom hits a wall? It's possible. Lithium is a limited resource, but the future doesn't rely on fresh mining. Battery recycling is getting better fast. Some analyses even project that future recycling could recover up to 90% of lithium and new tech is making it cheaper and cleaner to do so. In theory, someday your dead phone battery might power someone's new car. And there's new battery tech on the horizon. Solid state sodium ion and thermal batteries are all in development. They're not ready to take over just yet, but they're coming. So no, we're not facing a lithium apocalypse, but we are in a race to mine smarter, recycle better, and stay ahead of future shortages. For now, lithium still runs the show. Somewhere out there in the Nevada desert, there's a dusty construction site that might just shape the future. Not just of batteries, but of global energy, manufacturing, and independence. Thacker Pass isn't just about digging for metal. It's about shaking up the supply chain, giving the economy a boost, and stepping into the clean tech game. If everything goes smoothly, this chunk of land could power millions of cars and help energize the country too. We just have to wait and see. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.